Hello and welcome to a quick video introduction on how our Twitter auto post service works. Now our Twitter auto post can take the song that your radio station is playing and post it directly to your Twitter feed. Our system is compatible with all the major streaming platforms, Shoutcast, Icecast, Radionomy, Radiojar, SamCloud, Radio.co, Cast, all the versions of Centovacast, Airtime Pro and many, many more. What we do is we take the song from your streaming server, we add the image of the artist uh, that's playing or the cover art for the song if you'd like to, if not you can post it without, and we send it over to your Twitter feed and you can do that as uh, often as you want. You can set the posting frequency which we'll see shortly and then you can also monetize that by adding a buy this song link which you can then link back to your Apple iTunes or Amazon affiliate account and you can actually make money from your Twitter account. On top of that, you can also uh, configure some static messages. Now these are scheduled messages that you can post at any time uh, of the day that you want on any day of the week. And that's fantastic for posting upcoming shows uh, and programs and presenters that are gonna air on your station. And it also has a RSS posting feature, which means it can grab uh, weather, traffic, news uh, or your blog updates and it can post them to your Twitter feed automatically as well and all of that uh, is included in your Twitter auto post service. So what we'll do in a few moments is we'll take a look at the control panel where you configure the service. As I said it's compatible with most streaming servers. You can customize to three different messages so you can make all of your posts a little different. You can customize the posting frequency so you can select when, uh, during which hours, on which days it posts. You can add uh, the artist image or cover art with each post if you want to. You can add emojis, you can add different hashtags. Uh, you can tag the artist that's playing so you can actually tag the artist that's playing on that song uh, and you'll get some fantastic retweets and likes if you do that. Uh, as I said, you can add by the song links. Our system will not post the same song twice. So if your playout system or your server gets stuck, it won't keep on posting the same song. You can filter out adverts and jingles. So news, jingles, idents, those won't get posted. You can configure that. As I said, uh, you can post up to 20 scheduled posts. Uh, fantastic for those upcoming shows uh, and presenters on your radio station. You can configure up to five different RSS feeds and we'll show you that in a moment through the control panel. And of course, that's all backed up by our fantastic customer support. So let's uh, take a look at the control panel and you can see how all of that actually takes place and it'll give you a quick view of the powerful features that our platform can offer you. So here's the control panel. Uh, yours will be absolutely identical to this. And here are the different services available on our platform. There's a quick view, the most recent posts, and it just gives you a quick uh, view of uh, how everything's working. So here we can see uh, Twitter's good, Facebook's good, and TuneIn is good. So let's uh, take a look at how all this gets configured. Uh, so here's the now playing configuration. And here you can see, for example, the three different uh, sets of messages that will post. And our platform will post those completely randomly. So it makes sure that all posts are a little bit different and they're not all the same. Uh, so all we do is we enter the text that appears before the song and the text that appears after the song. And you can configure, uh, configure up to three different sets of messages. For international customers, you can change the bit that goes between the song and the, uh, and the artist that's playing. So normally it's just by, so uh, song by artist. You can change that if you want to. And that's great for our international customers. Uh, you can select to tag the artist and we'll see some examples of that. That basically means that our system will look for the official Twitter account for the artist that's playing and it will include that uh, in the post. And that's fantastic for getting more retweets and likes for your posts. You can include the artist's image if you want to in each post or you can include the cover art. Uh, so one of them will just post the uh, image of the artist. The other one will actually try and find the cover art uh, for the particular song that's playing uh, and it will post uh, one or the other. You can add Amazon affiliate links so you can monetize your Twitter feed 
by adding a buy this song link to each song that's posted and it will automatically add your Amazon affiliate ID. Or if you want to, you can use the Apple iTunes affiliate program and it, you just add the affiliate ID here and then you can customize. Uh, again, for our international customers, you can customize the uh, name, uh, the, the text that appears uh, for each link. You can choose uh, your regionality for the Apple and Amazon affiliate uh, accounts. Uh, the override file is something we can look into a bit later on. Uh, you can choose to post the logo, your radio station's logo. If no image is found, no cover art or no artist image is found, uh, you can enable, disable the entire system if you want to stop it uh, momentarily. Post scheduling, uh, this is where you can figure on which days of the week you want the system to post and during which hours of the day. Uh, that's great if you don't have live shows uh, all the time or you just don't want the system working all the time. You can configure the scheduling here. Uh, and then finally, how often do you want us to post the song to your Twitter feed? And you can uh, select here uh, as often as you want. And that's it. You submit the details and your postings will start and they'll look something like this. OK, so here it is in action. This is one of our test radio stations. And here you can see uh, the system actually working, posting. It's posting cover art. Uh, it's posting that pre text message that we had here now playing name of the song by status quo. And we've got a little listen live link that goes through to our tune in for that radio station. You can see here it's posting cover art here. You can see, for example, it tagging the official Twitter account for U2. So it's actually replaced the band's name with their official Twitter account. Uh, and you can see here, you know, you're, you're tapping into millions of uh, followers. So that's fantastic to get uh, some response uh, on your Twitter feed. And, you know, you can see it here in action. If we just take a very brief look at some of the notifications we've got here, each song is getting loads and loads and loads of, of interactions. If you can see here, this one where... Uh, uh, Careless Whisper by George Michael was played and it's got loads and loads of likes and that was just an hour ago uh, and you can see all the recent uh, likes and retweets and you can actually see all of this coming into play now. Uh, so that's how our Twitter auto post works. Uh, if you'd like any more information, please feel free to get in touch. You can do so via the contact page.